Introduction Hello friends, I am skipping rope. Count the number of times is skip rope. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 times. I am tired now. Therefore, the data of my skipping rope is 8. Making a note of the data collected is data handling. There are various methods used for data handling. Let us learn some of these methods today. Objectives After completing this lesson, you would be able to collect data, record the data using tally marks, represent data pictorially, interpret the data by using charts. Tally marks are one of the easiest and quickest methods used for data handling. A tally mark is counting the objects or activity in groups of five. A single vertical line represents a single object. For representing two objects, two vertical lines are drawn. Each mark represents an object. While representing five objects, four vertical lines are drawn and a fifth diagonal line cuts the four vertical lines. For example, to count three mangoes, we make three tally marks. Let's do an activity to prepare a tally chart. Flip the coin and see what side of the coin appears. Is it heads or tails? Mark it in the table as shown. Continue to flip the coin for 25 times and for each time, Mark the reading in a table. Counting the mark one by one takes more time to count. But by using tally marks, we can skip the count by fives. It is quick to record data while using tally marks. Now let us analyze the given chart. In this chart, four students have measured their shoes on the paper. They had cut and pasted the paper strips as shown in the given chart. Now answer the following questions by clicking on the correct options. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Collecting information about various things is known as collecting data. Tally marks records data counting in group of fives. Charts are pictorial presentation of data. Chart helps us to interpret data.